What's going on guys, Killer6 here with episode 4 of my unique items guide in Borderlands the pre-sequel and today we're looking at the Haymaker shield. Now at level 50 the stats on this shield will vary based on the parts that it spawns with, but the stats for the one that I got break down like this. 8,394 capacity with 1,269 recharge rate, a recharge delay of 2.3, 38% elemental resistance, and it gives me a bonus to my health in the amount of 4,428. The red text says, Return to Cinder, which is about as literal as this game gets because the special ability for this shield is that you can give the last elemental damage that you received back to enemies by meleeing them. So for example, this guy right here hits me with uh, corrosive damage and then I melee him back and he takes corrosive damage upon himself at that point. This is an effect that works well on earlier levels, but on true Vault Hunter mode I find that it's just a lot easier to shoot the enemies in the face and be done with them. Now the Haymaker can only be obtained by completing the fifth and final round of the Shock Drop Slaughter Pit, located on the far east side of the Outlands Canyon map. This mission is not farmable, so if you are unhappy with your Haymaker, then you'll need to either all F4 before turning in level 5, or set your save to read only, and then turn it in repeatedly until you get the version that you're after, but don't forget to change your save back to normal afterward. So my verdict on this shield, not one that I would use to be honest. Uh, it's kind of a novelty item and the fact that it gives back the same element that the enemy dealt to you means that often the shield will be hitting enemies with the uh, elements that they likely resist. So this one will go in the vault for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please take a second to click that like button and hit subscribe for more unique item reviews. Post suggestions in the comments below for other items you'd like for me to cover. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys back here next weekend with more unique item coverage. And we're back here again tomorrow with episode 11 of the Legendary Items Guide. Take care.